Welcome back, Monster Jam fans. Today, we're gonna learn about some interesting stuff. Like why I'm sitting in this chair holding this bicycle tire. Great question. And here's your answer. And I'm spinning. We're gonna learn about what goes on behind creating those epic Monster Jam stunts. Backflips, donuts, wheelies. Drivers don't just hit the gas and hope for the best. There's a lot to know before they go for it. Like what I'm doing here. If I tilt the wheel this way, the angle of momentum will turn me this way. And if I want to go the other way, I just tilt it the other way. Pretty cool. It's the science of stunts on this episode of... Red Up Recaps! I'm like a figure skater. Exactly. Minus the elegance of grace. Calculations. Acceleration times angle of launch, carry the two, plus the five, divided by square root of pi. <sighs> there you have it. Monster Jam is awesome. They definitely are. And so are the massive monster trucks. The monster Jam trucks are about 12 and a half feet wide, 17 feet long, and weigh 12,000 pounds. They're big and heavy. My absolute favorite stunt is the bat. I know, right? Get in a massive truck to launch into the air, rotate with a full 360 degree flip, and land back on four wheels? Yeah, who better to tell us what goes into pulling them off other than someone who sits behind the wheel? Tom Mintz is the driver of Max D, one of the most iconic and highest flying Monster Jam trucks on the circuit. When he hits the course, you know you're gonna see something epic. We asked Tom to tell us how he pulls off a backflip, and here's what he told us. Check it out. Hi, I'm Tom Mintz, the professor of Monster Jam University. Backflips can be the coolest part of a Monster Jam event. You want to have the perfect amount of speed to the obstacle. Get on the throttle when the front tires hit the obstacle. And then you follow through till the rear tires are all the way in the air. As you rotate around, you learn to give it more throttle or maybe apply the brakes early, depending on the amount of rotation. That makes a perfect backflip. Whoa. I didn't know the speed of the tires affected the rotation of the truck in the air. Me neither. And figuring it out while you're upside down makes the stunt even more epic. It's all about perfect speed. And we're gonna try it out with this 124 Max D. Man, I love these 124 trucks. Feel the weight. And these tires feel legit, man. Yeah, they do. Now let's just do some stunts. Yeah, okay. You wanna go first? Yeah. Okay, oh, oh, okay. this almost. is gonna work. Monster Jam isn't Monster Jam without catching big air. And when I say big, I mean big. Monster Jam trucks go high. And far. Back to Tom Mintz to tell us how it's done. The high jump is a very cool contest. There's a amount of distance from where the back tires sit to where the front tires hit the ramp. You gotta throttle all the way through as hard as you can. You need to make sure that you shift the second gear at the perfect time. You want a lot of speed, you want to keep optimal traction until you hit the ramp. Once you hit the ramp, you stay on the throttle, follow all the way through, you'll get big air. That makes a perfect high jump. The bigger the air, the better. I knew you had to hit the throttle, but didn't know it affected the jump after the truck left the ground. Too much throttle, and the nose goes up. Not enough, and it's a nose dive. So you have to hit it just right to get some big air and land all four wheels. I know the perfect Monster Jam set to test this theory. Stunt dial playset. Whoa. Back flip, corkscrew, front flip, and most importantly, the mega jump. Enough talking. 
let's get to the stunts. All these stunts are making me hungry. How about some donuts? Oh, yes. What do we have here? Chocolate, jelly, sprinkled. While we're snacking on these, Tom Mintz will tell us what goes into spinning some epic donuts on the dirt. Donuts are really cool to perform at Monster Jam events. You got to get the front steering turn and the rear steering turn to match. You got to get your Monster Jam truck going in a really tight circle. You give it more throttle until it breaks loose. And when you do a really good donut that turns into a cyclone, it's going super fast. It'll even get up on two wheels. That's the science of a great donut. Steering and speed aren't the only things involved in doing donuts. The dirt on a track has a lot to do with it. Two words. Track, shun. One word. The point is, the tires need traction to be able to spin in donuts on the track. If the dirt is too dry, dirt will just kick up underneath the tires. And if it's too wet, the truck will just flip over. It's like a recipe for a perfect donut. Is everything with you about food? Let's kick up some dirt with a Freestyle Force Grave Digger. This Epic RC pulls off a ton of stunts, and donuts is one of them. Check this out. All right, here I go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, oh look at this. He's kicking look up it. dirt. Whoa. Oh. You see that? Yep. Look at how deep it's going. I know. It's like a canyon now. Oh! I'm gonna keep it in this groove. Dude! What's this? Oh! Hey, look how much dirt is kicking up. I know. Yes! That was epic. Yeah. What are you doing? I call it the Jake Wheelie. Stand on one leg and find your center of balance. Now imagine doing it in a Monster Jam truck on two wheels. We don't have to imagine. Tom Mintz is about to tell us right now. Check it out. Whoa! You need to find your center of balance. Nose wheelies. What an epic moment. You want to take your Monster Jam truck. You want to come over an obstacle. You want to make the rear tires go faster in the front. So when the front tires fall off that obstacle, you gas it. That makes it upset the truck and put it right on the nose. You gotta use brake. You gotta use throttle. You gotta use everything at the perfect time to get your Monster Jam truck to balance perfectly on only the nose. Left hand to steer, right hand to use the shifter, left foot on the brake, and your right foot on the gas pedal. All four of those things have to work perfectly together to perform the perfect nose wheelie. Wheelies? Nose wheelies? Once again, Monster Jam is defying the laws of physics. That's right. And once again, we're going to use the Freestyle Force Grave Digger to do some two wheeled stunts right now. All right, let's do this. Yeah. Let's see if you can do a wheelie. Whoa! Dude, this is epic. Whoa. It balances on its own. I know, it's so cool. Uh, oh! Dude, dude, look at that. Oh, that's cool. Spin around, Osis. You. Oh, that's so cool. It's like it's levitating. Hey, you want to try some nose wheelies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here I go. Oh, oh. spin. If oh. this were real, the crowd would be yelling for so I long. know. Oh. Okay, I'm going to do some spins. And down. That was awesome. awesome. Dude. That's it for this episode. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'm Jaden. And I'm Jake. And we'll see you next time on Flipped Up Recaps. Hey, look, I'm balancing with a donut. Hey, what? Ah! Needs a little work. Welcome back, Monster Jam fans. Today's episode is definitely going to make a splash. If you have good aim. There will be Monster Jam trucks, moving targets, and launchers sending them flying. It takes skill. Think hitting a target is as easy as this? It's the Duck Tank Duel on this episode of Rev Up oh, Recaps! Before we head outside for our duel, we're gonna practice our aim inside. 
with some monster jam trucks and targets. Every target you hit earns you one ball for the dunk tank. The more targets you hit, the better the chances of dunking the other guy. I think we both know that I'm only gonna need one ball, but I'll play along because monster jam trucks are always awesome. Let's do this. Yeah, let's warm up with an easy one. We're gonna be using the launcher from the zombie madness set and send zombie flying into that target. The targets won't be moving on this one, so it'll be a little easier. A little. You go first. Line them up. Let's do this. Just right. Okay. Come on, zombie. And three, two, one, go! Time to fly! Oh! oh he hit it! the bullseye! He hit it! Oh, Okay, let's see if I can get two in a row. Second time's a charm. Three, two, one, go! Oh! oh! Nailed it! That was epic. Two targets, nice, okay, my turn. Go ahead. Okay. Okay, zombie, don't fail me now. Put up your arms just a little cool. Three, two, two one, go! Oh, oh too high. too high! Three. Two, two, one, one go! Oh, two! He hit it. Oh, that was he epic, hit it. man! Time to up the difficulty. Let's do it. This is gonna be awesome. We've got the champ ramp, we've got a moving target, and we have a whole bunch of monster jam trucks. I started the last one, so you'll start this one off. Okay, come on, Bakugan. Daddy needs a new pair of shoes. Let's see if you can hit it. Three, Three two, two, one, go. Oh, 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 oh he, he got, stuck. got stuck in the Wait, spokes. Where'd he go? Wait, where'd he go? Oh, there, Wait, he, there is. he is. Okay, I have one, I have one try left. Three, two, one. Fuck, we're gone. Oh, oh bullseye. He landed, he landed. And a wheelie. Oh. Dude. Okay, it's my turn. Three, two, one. Go. Oh, oh. Like right in between I the targets. So close. Oh dang. Okay. Oh well. Next up is blue flush. Good choice, man. Three, two, one, go! Oh, oh he oh, hit it! Oh. And he landed! Oh bro, that was awesome! That was epic! One target, not bad. Let's take this to the next level. Yeah, let's do it. For this last round, we're going vertical with a stunt dial playset. Targets are facing down and trucks are launching up. And of course, they're moving targets because this, this is Monster Jam. Jam. Okay, Jaden, your turn first. Who are you gonna go with? I'm going with Dragon. Three, two, one, go. Oh, oh you went way did you see over the that? Target. Okay, I'm going with Earth Shaker. Oh, good job. Three, two, one, go. Oh, ah, oh he was like so just close. barely there. Okay. Hey. I guess you could say it's a bullseye. Yeah. Move <laughs> for the red. Oh, oh he, he hit, hit it. He hit it. Dude, he hit the bullseye. Literally. <laughs> what you said. Okay, it's your turn, Jake. Give it a spin. I'm gonna go with Rottweiler. Okay, okay. three, two, one, go! Oh, oh so I need to hit cool. harder than that. Okay, Earthshaker, don't fail me now. Okay. Here we go. Three, three two, two, one, go! One. I know, look how he landed. He landed on his back wheel. It's a tie. Time for the dunk take. May the best man win. Oh, I will. We'll see about that. You know we're not just gonna get dunked. 
We gotta do it the Monster Jam way. And that means color change trucks. Go in with them one color and come out with them another. Is the water chilly? Not at all. It's ice cold. You wanna see the color change action, don't you? You know it. This view looks familiar. And the next one will too. Who do you got with you? I got Soldier Fortune and W. You ready? Yeah, are you? Always. How's the view? Pretty cool. Well, it's about to get cooler. Ice cooler. Oh, just throw. OK, here we go. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, yes! Yes, I got you! Gotta hit the showers after this episode. Really? You didn't have enough? You can never have enough Monster Jam. Dunk on that subscribe button and hit that little bell to get notified when new videos drop. I'm Jaden. And I'm Jake. And we'll see you next time on... Grab the Recaps! You know what? I thought I saw a nickel in there. Really? Yeah.